James Onanefe Ibori was governor of Delta State in Nigeria between 1999 and 2007 under the People's Democratic Party. Corruption charges started building against him with the filing of petitions by his kinsmen under the auspices of the Delta State Elders and Stakeholders Forum. In early August 2007, a UK court froze Ibori's assets valued at about £17 million. James Ibori also faced charges in Nigeria. On December 12, 2007, he was arrested by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, at the Kwara State Lodge in Asokoro, Abuja, on charges of alleged theft of public funds, abuse of office and money laundering. On December 17, 2009, a federal high court sitting in Asaba, Delta State, discharged and acquitted him. But in May 13, 2010, Ibori was arrested in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, under Interpol warrants issued from the United Kingdom and enacted by the Metropolitan Police. The ex-governor was granted bail pending an extradition hearing. 27th of February 2012, accused of stealing 250 million US dollars from the Nigerian public purse, Ibori pleaded guilty to 10 counts of money laundering and conspiracy to defraud at the Southwark Crown Court in London. He was sentenced to 13 years in prison by the same court on Tuesday, April the 17th, 2012. His release today on the orders of the UK court did not come easy, as lawyers to the British Home Office fought to detain him further. But the judge in charge, Justice Juliet May, ruled that it was injustice to keep him after his agreed date of release, December 29, 2016. It's not yet a huru for Mr. Ivory as his expected extradition to Nigeria may yet open up another flurry of court cases waiting for him to step off the Nigerian-bound flight from London.